everybody, thanks for coming back and tuning in. This is another episode of Rad Thinks. This is a podcast that me and a good friend of mine, The Chad, uh, have come up with to bring you all of the aspects of living life in a rad fashion, whether it's mental wellness, uh, depression, uh, gaming, cool stuff like that. And so this uh, specific segment is just going to be talking about social media and gaming and other things like that. Uh, less heavy stuff than some of the things we talk about. But um, if you're interested in any of that stuff, stick around. You might enjoy. Uh, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you soon. I'm Robert Rapole, and we're here in Red Ink, Florida, my tattoo studio. And uh, this is my compatriot. I'm Chad Talley. Uh, unrelated, but I'm the founder of Space Coast Paranormal Society. Like, I always believe that's helpful. Anyone that shows up to that, anyone that's trying, kudos to them. Because like I said, dude, it's hard just to say, I'm going to a therapist. I'm almost 40 and it took me this long to be able to like, say stuff like that without feeling stupid. You know, like, oh, I, I go to a therapist or I have a life coach, you know, or like, I seek help. You know, I read self-help books. Like, there's something so negative against all these things when it's really just... I'm just trying to be my best self, guys, you know? I don't know where that stigma came from, but it's definitely a thing that we see too much of. It, it's perpetuated with... I guess the, the want of being perfect Everybody wants from to be the media. Great. That's why, like, social media is such a... Double-edged sword. Double -edged. It's great for businesses. It's great for connecting with people yep. that you haven't talked to in a long time. But also, people only post the good things that are happening to them, or the, the good pictures that you see. Yeah. And now you're wondering why my life sucks. Wait, why am I not like that? Why don't I look like that? Why don't I feel like that person? Why am I not achieving as much as they are? Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't know the troubles they're going through behind that picture or that post. Yeah, man. Well, um, what's it called? The social something on Netflix. The, the social dilemma. The social yeah. dilemma. I fell asleep during it because I'm a bum and I can't <laughs> stay awake during movies. <laughs> <laughs> and my TV is on my ceiling above my king bed, so like, I'm like knocked out That's easy. Convenient. Very convenient. That it came like that in the house we just bought. It's great. <laughs> so like, I love the premise behind it because like every one of these people that's creating it. Number one, I'm like, you're behind in social media. You, you're one of the marionettes. Holy man, like. Because you just expect these like deities and gods to be creating something that fucking reaches so many people, and you'd expect they'd look a certain way or feel a certain way, but really they're just fucking nerdy dudes that are like, "I'm sorry, I made this. I thought it was gonna be good," like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "Whoa!" Like I that mean, that movie was wild. It's the great for business. It. it helps you get your marketing I love out it. there. It's sick for me, dude. But like. I say it all the time. If I didn't have f***ing business and I wasn't the brand and my brand wasn't me, I wouldn't be on f***ing social media. I don't go f*** about what you're doing when I'm not next to you. Like, hey, you want to call me and talk about it? That's great. But, like, I'm, like, I'm waiting for that day when I can just be an old dude that doesn't have to be tethered to these things. But at the same time, you know, we say that, but we choose to scroll. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and as I'm saying this place I'm like yeah but I do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it gives people who shouldn't really have a voice a voice and it lets them find other people like them and they mass and they play you never read the comments no <laughs> so after ink master I went to go visit Jimmy Litwalk because he's in Orlando and um, I talked to him on the phone a couple times before I'd gone and visited him but one of the things he told me the day I went to see him was dude don't read the comments don't ever read the comments. Like, you were put in front of millions of people. There's bound to be some people that just want to hurt you. Just, dude, he's like, he was like, man, people will argue with you just to say they argue with you. So then a couple of years later, I'm at a guest spot, and this dude is like, yeah, man, I got into an argument with Dave Navarro on Twitter. And I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, wrong guy to be telling this to. I'm not proud of you. You know, like, <laughs> And it's weird that, like, that's the thing, you know? Like, dude, I saw Busta Rhymes outside a hotel one time, but, like, there's no reason to talk about it. 
You know, like, yeah. he looked big and mean and he scared me, so I didn't want to say hello to him. Like, <laughs> he looked very angry, like he was waiting on his car or some shit. Like, but, like, people will ride on those things forever, you know, and it's, it's really odd. It's really odd the, the way that social media and the movies and society media, it just portrays people things and stuff because people will meet me and they'll be like man your life is so great you're so positive i'm like that's because you ain't there on the days i'm f-ing yelling and screaming angry and f-ing crying afterwards f-ing, why am i like this why did i hurt people i love you know <laughs> like and like i don't I, i'm not gonna put that on the social media that's unhealthy mm. <laughs> <laughs> so like i'm not gonna do a live and i'm having a breakdown <laughs> Right, like, so it's really hard to show people, like, the true self, Mm -hmm. because it's in us, dude, it's in DNA, like, things are, they react differently when they're observed, like, they've done scientific studies about, like, molecules and DNA, and like, like, molecules are observed, or atoms, I don't fucking know this, I'm not a scientist, but these things, they did things, and the things, and they did something different when they weren't looking, and they did something totally different when they were looking, Mm -hmm. and it's like, that's just in our makeup like it's just wild to see that you know like it's, it's like it, it's, it, he won't it, let you yeah. in, in the gaming community when you're getting spectated you're gonna fuck up all the time like when I'm playing Apex and I kill somebody and they spectate me I'm like oh, I'm gonna fuck up now right right it's, there's like there's a meme going around the, like the, the Simpsons meme it's like when I have somebody spectating me get ready everybody he's about to do something stupid <laughs> Dude, I feel you when when uh when I would go to my son's basketball games when he was in high school, man, I just I got to a point where I was like, dude, do you want me to stop coming? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I was watching that kid play, and it wasn't even just at games, we'd just be shooting hoop out in front of the house, and he'd miss every shot, and I'm like, I thought you were a shooter. What happened? He's like, oh no, man, it's messed up around you. <laughs> So it's weird, man. It's really odd. The thing's different. And the funny thing is, like, when John tattooed me the other night, complete opposite happened. He was like, dude, you were calming. It was nice to have you there helping, mm-hmm. which isn't normal for most people. But it's kind of cool seeing both sides of, you know, the observational pole. I mean, you have those. Hate Didn't moments. do a great job. but I got, no, you Going, going job. back to gaming, I only want to bring this up because I had this experience. This is the first time I've had this particular experience. Okay. When in gaming, like I was playing Apex, we wiped the squad. Afterwards, I get a message from a troll who's had to be like 12 or 13, pissed off that we wiped his squad, calling the camper that spectates me the entire match, messaging me the entire match. All you that I run away with? Like, I'm just trying to play. It's a game. Yeah, stop being I'm, a jerk. I'm 33 years old. I worked all day. <laughs> I'm trying to let off steam and distract myself from my anxiety. I don't need a 12 year old to f- my life up, dickhead. And then I, I go to his profile after the match, and he's got a flag. Like Xbox will flag you if you get reported so many times. And they'll say, it'll say, uh, re- reputation, avoid. No. You get, you're so salty with, with life that you have to hate on everybody enough. To get Xbox to tell people, don't interact with me. <laughs> you know, where is this child's parents? <laughs> I just know that. Man, my parents ain't very f-ing technical, but I know there they wasn't they wasn't nothing that happened in my life that I wasn't getting smacked by my dad. Like, if I was doing some shit wrong. Yeah, I used to get the belt. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, dude. The, I used to get the regular belt. The weight belt was my favorite. Yeah, he would pull that guy out. And it would just, like, jingle with the buckles and, like, ugh. Dude, one of my favorite beatings I ever got. I said something slick. And then I ran into my room. This dude picked up a shoe and just started whacking at me. My dad was pissed. Every word was a whack. <laughs> but it was a shoe. And I was really squirrely, so it wasn't really hurting. <laughs> but I had to pretend it hurt, so he let me die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a, side tangent. You know? <laughs> as I responded to this kid, I'm just sitting nice things to him just to make it worse. <laughs> like, he's, ah, you f- 
Thank you, sorry. Okay, well, thanks. Have a great day. Hope you have a good night. <laughs> Love I, you. I will know when that you died. Okay, have fun. Cool. Take it easy. Dude, that's so I will knowing that you died. And you know what's funny? You show up at that kid's house, and you're just like, hey, remember all that shit you were talking about? <laughs> <You're like, "Aah!" laughs> I mean, not like we go around intimidating 12-year-olds or anything. But I mean, that would be really <laughs> funny. I, mean, I, I ran across a lot of cool people in that game. I've had a I'm lot of, sure. I've had a lot of good moments. They, they heavily outweigh the bad moments. Right, right. So can you find that kid's parents and give them a phone call? I, I, I went down the rabbit hole. Did you? <laughs> See, I, I he, he, like he upset you that much. Yeah. Like, why? Do, why? Why? We, we do let we things take it get personally? to us. Why do we let? The, oh. And like, I, I looked him up, and he has like a YouTube channel, he has a Twitch channel, he has a Facebook page. Okay. And each one of them had six followers, which means to me he has six alt accounts that he follows himself with on every single platform. So every platform has six followers. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm not letting this kid get to me anymore. So he's so mad because nobody will listen to him. So that's all he wants to do yeah. is just be heard. And I, I stream with people. Like well, I stream every once in a while on, on Apex. And whenever I do, it's my channel's all about us making fun of each other and dicking around and being stupid. Right. And having fun and laughing. But lighthearted. And people will watch that. People want to watch. Nobody wants to watch you be aggro for hours on end. Yeah, not unless you're like... No, not even yeah, not hours on end. You're you're yeah. like a, you're a snippet guy if you're aggro. Yeah. You know? You're like, Why I'll, is that I'll kid... watch this for thirty seconds to laugh at how angry he is, then I'm gonna go somewhere else. Is that kid angry on all of his accounts? Apparently. <laughs> They're all flagged as avoid me. That's fucking great. I love people like that. Like with our streams it's all my friend Rose will make some innuendo by accident and we'll laugh at her for it or or uh she got drunk on one street. We just sat there making fun of her for being drunk the whole time, and she's fucking up, but she's drunk. And we're spectating her laughing at her. <laughs> she's laughing too. Right, right. She's in on the joke. It's just not like we're trying to hurt her or anything. It's, it's all in good fun. And pe- like, I, if I was somebody else, I would watch that because it's right, fun. Right, right. I'm not gonna watch somebody message somebody else. Yeah, I don't want to see a kid angry like. as fuck on some stupid shit. Like, I don't, I don't need to see this, buddy. Like that one kid, I think his name is Steven, the one that's gone, and he went viral a bunch of times. Freaked out on his first tattoo, freaked out because his mom took his World of Warcraft I think, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's like, his whole thing, though. Like, none of that's real. It's all Yeah, crazy. like I thought it was real at first, and then like I seen too much of it, and I'm like, it's the same shtick every time. Mm-hmm. But like he was a great snippet. He got really internet famous for a while, and now he's gone because nobody really wants to see an angry, you that's know, a, 13 a, year old. 15 15 minutes year old. Of fame. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, that's the thing. Didn't you say it earlier about social media? Like, it gives people that yeah. shouldn't have one a platform. But it gives it gives people that wouldn't think of it and wouldn't have the courage or wouldn't have the, just the, 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 the thought to act on it. So, like, there's been a lot of helpful shit, man. Like, becoming an amputee, there's been so much, so much good on the Internet just because there's so many other amputees out there. And they're, like, able, and they're doing their thing, and it's, like, really cool to see that. I mean, there's good and there's bad. Yeah. So, we're going to wrap up this podcast for the day. Go ahead and give your hand a little show. That's where we are now. Oh, yeah, we got pictures. And yeah, we'll get better there. pictures on there. So, yeah, we're wrapping up the podcast for the day. Still got more tattooing to do. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I am Roger Rapole. My studio is Radding, Florida. Go to RaddingFlorida.com, at Radding, Florida on uh, the social medias. Uh, and my personal is Robbie Rapole. And then my YouTube is The Rad Movement. Um, and yeah, so if you need high quality tattoos or motivation, come check us out. If you need paranormal investigation, check us out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. Appreciate y'all for watching. Thanks for uh, listening to our OCD stuff and, you know, life stuff and paranormal stuff and tattoo stuff. And, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in. See you guys later. And as a side note on the end, if you are someone who's suffering from OCD and have don't know where to go or check out the International OCD Foundation's website, iocdf.com. Cool. And at the Rad Movement is uh, another motivational thing I do. At the underscore Rad underscore Movement. So, uh, yeah, at any level of... Just minor motivation or straight up 
hardcore OCDs. Uh, we've got resources to help you guys out. Thank you so much. We're rad and so are you. Have a great fucking day.